Wake up. Wake up, Ronald. Bloody hell. Honestly, get dressed. Uh, the way he rides the wind. Blimey, that's one big one. I write for the Daily Prophet. Of course, you know that, don't you? It's you. We don't know. <laughs> More than an athlete. He's an artist. I think you're in love, Ron. Shut up. You're the juicy news. What quirks lurk beneath those rosy cheeks? Oh! What mysteries do the muscles mask? Hmm. Mrs. Cozy? Hey. My eyes aren't glistening with the ghost of my past. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Is that right? Well, what? Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! You do it! Teaching! Four of you can fully appreciate. What are you doing here, Miss Granger? Oh, um. Sorry, I'll just go. Bart. I suppose I was a bit distraught. Boys. Is that a is that a student? <laughs> Technically it's a ferret. <laughs> In the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Place your right hand on my waist. Where? My waist. <laughs> Spectacular. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. No. No. Harry Potter! You show me your rugged pumpkin head, isn't he? I don't think it was the books that had him going to the library. What are you on about? They're not for Ginny. They're for you. <laughs> Dress robes. Dress robes? Excellent. Excellent. Ron, get out of the kitchen. We're all hungry. Yes. I love magic. There's a wizard in Nepal who's growing gravity resistant trees. Neville. No offense, but I really don't care. Bombastic side eye. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! Is this about it? We can actually talk about the tournament. Actually, we don't really talk at all. Victor's more of a physical being. And his name is Victor Crumb.